so it's dope as fuck. I, I want to be here forever. You could leave, though. I'm leaving at some point in time. What is Vaporwave? What the f*** is Vaporwave? Is it a music genre? Is it a sound? Is it a vibe? Is it an aesthetic? Whatever the f*** that is. Well, to me, it's purple sh pink sh or the f*** place. I'm like, this sh looks cool. I don't know what the f*** this is, mm -hmm. but I guess. But in reality, it's more of an atmosphere. It's kind of like the fun, less killy, stabby, stabby side of GTA Vice City, mixed with some Greek, Rome-esque architecture, all inside that vintage 90s cup, sippable with a dolphin crazy straw, a purple one. Now, the interweb describes this as a viral music genre evoking nostalgia for an era that never truly existed yet feels eerily familiar. Funny because the origin of this thing dates back to the late 2000s and early 10s, a time frame I'd assume most people probably feel eerily familiar with but could have also never existed. So there's a loose visual, but what the f*** does that have to do with music? Well, this whole thing kind of thrives in the void of loose familiarity. I recall hearing my first relatively commercial experience with Vaporwave sound through a Spotify with the playlist. Windows 96 belly rolled through my Beats over amplified bass buds and I stopped. It was an immediate high. No drum pattern, no real beat to grasp to, just a melodic groove that kept me in the state of very calm confusion. But that's the vibe, or at least to me it is. And see, that's also the vibe. That being that the genre is very user-based per se. A stroll down Vaporwave Reddit or Tumblr will really clarify that up for you. It's hard to really pinpoint exactly what it is because as time goes on, the nostalgia bank will grow. Many of the assets that, and I say this ironically, define Vaporwave are based on its nostalgic factor. As time goes on, the things we remember from yesterday will be further and further removed from our right now brain and placed in those sweet, sweet remember berry juices. Hey, hey, remember Ghostbusters? Ooh, I <laughs> Slap a pink, purple tint on some teal highlights. Slow that some bitch down a few notches, and that's a good recipe for some pepper wavy vibes. I can, I can do that because I made Mario. The fun with that concept, while the genre had grown to somewhat reach a mainstream audience, maximally in the mid-2010s, is that it's now relatively back in its comfort space, devoid of obscurity. See, that's the thing about the genre. It's so accessibility-based, but simultaneously anti-mainstream, that its popularity tends to be oxymoronic. Its assets are mainstream, or more so general population based from what it was back then. Basic cable type shows, things you heard on the radio, popular things from grade school, the familiar sounds of, let's say, a Windows startup or shutdown sound, a PlayStation startup, slowed and down tempo and pop songs, things that spark that brain blast that puts you back in a place where your memories are inexplicably relaxing like those butter cookies in the circle so intense type shit. The sound lives in the land of nostalgia, where the land visual is that of digital spaces with an overlay of bright 80s colors and patterns. It's cool, but only if you think it's cool. Like I said, it's user friendly. And in today's constant grab for your attention to the next new thing, 
its relocation back to where it started was an inevitability. Ironically, being a non-conformist is now in it. Let that sink in. Bro, where the fuck are we? Bro, where the fuck are we? I have no, I have no clue whatsoever. See, I, this is what I was telling you last. We could have just simply just played that Call of Duty, but you wanted to fucking play that PlayStation 1 game. Hey, bro. This shit cool as hell. I'm not going to lie. Like, damn, this shit a vibe, to be honest. You know? Okay. So, I feel like this is the land of of the vaporwave, essentially, I, I, with all the silly shit. Mm, I guess so. I, deals and shit. It's, this is like all my memories from childhood. This is crazy, you know? Mm. I feel like I'm in a bad trip right now. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, that's 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 what the fuck we get. That's what you get. This is this is your fault. All right. So you need to hey find man. us a way to get the fuck out of here. Hey man, Black Ops Six is gonna be dead anyways. I should admit it anyways. So. That's another vaporwave thing. Later on down the line. All right. Well. You turn your ass around. Let's get the fuck on. Find you need to find a door or some shit and and fucking figure this shit out, man. All right, but like, where, where are we gonna go? I don't know anywhere around here. Yeah, I, I don't know, but whatever the case may be, we gonna keep fucking walking and and we need to find something to to do while we're trying to get up out of here. Okay. So, first of all, why why where did you even get this whole vaporwave shit from? Like, what's 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 the idea from? Why you why like? Keep walking. We need to man, keep walking. Man, I just, keep I, I, I don't know. Like, to be honest with you, I got it, like, just from listening from um, Young Lean, like, back in, like, 2011. No, 2012, to be honest with you, when I was in college, right? And I never knew what any of this shit was. The name of the album was called Un Unknown Memory, right? Mm -hmm. And really, it was unlocking unknown memories that I had, like, 10, 12 years ago when I was a kid, when at that time when I was like a college student. So I was like just interested in all of it. I just started diving in. I'm like, what the fuck is all this? And it was just starting, you know? People were just making this, you know? And then the music came along. Oh, watch out. This fucking little fucking, you, you watch the fuck out. All right, go ahead. So you, hey, you hey. need to pay attention to that shit, bro. No, nah, I'm, I'm just in vapor, vapor land, you know? I'm dreaming yeah. right now. But anyways, I appreciate that, so. Yeah, man, you know, I was just listening to music and I just started diving in and then like the underground scene in the hip hop, like the SoundCloud era was full of it, you know? And yeah. like, you know, it was just, you know, like just basic stuff like PlayStation 1 stuff, um, just like very vibrant, bright colors, but like this kind of surrealism to it, you know, where it's like, it's real. But it's not, you know, it's but it's beautiful. You feel like you've been to these places, but you, you know, you, it, it looks familiar, basically, you know? Yeah. Where'd you like, where, so I mean, like, you got that shit from there, but like, how do you put that into your, into your music now? Um, so it's a lot of a wavy kind of like, uh, influences, you know? Like Synthy. Synthy, yeah. But like, you know, a lot of ambient pads, a lot of like, a lot of sounds that make you feel like it's a memory, to be honest with you. Like a little, you know, like kind of like that ambient. I'm tired. It's just, just come, just come All right. on. All right. We haven't found that door yet, though. I'm still fucking looking for it, but I, I need to take a break. Yo, them those shrooms is too much. Are we in vaporwave land, or yeah, I think we are. We, so. we, we, we've been here. He's high. You're high. You're still high. The shit. She looks dope as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I want to be here forever. You could leave though. I believe you get some point in time. You can stay here. <laughs> bad, bad. Bad, bad. But uh, I mean, like, I don't know. When you brought that shit up to me, I'm I'm looking at it. I'm listening to it, and I'm like, this is cool. I just don't know what the fuck it sounds like. But I mean, I mean, how did it influence your art? I mean, just like seeing all that purple shit. It kind of it was cool because it's like. I remember all these things mm -hmm. and then just kind of have like those trippy ass little scents going on at the same time yeah it's like okay i see what's going on here and then like the more i started digging into it it's like okay it's a a lot of a lot of just personal tastes for people that i'm noticing like it's mm. not just it's not like it's this thing it's like nah it's it's this thing but you can also make this thing that thing mm -hmm. so it's just very it's like very user friendly 
Mm. So, and then the colors and shit, it just gives you like that, that, uh, that retro vintage Miami type feel. Like everything yes. feels yeah. like it looks like that, that old party cup with the little purple and teal cross <laughs> shit. So it's like everything with that, and it's like, oh, okay, I mean, I get it. And then the sound, mm -hmm. like, the sound, I like synths and shit like that. Yeah. So then to kind of like take the sense and then make it your own type thing, mm -hmm. I fuck with it. I thought it was pretty cool. cool. I yeah. think it's cool. Like the art is like r really beautiful, to yeah. be honest with you. Yeah, you know? and it's silly at the same time, it's silly too. It's silly too, yeah, because it's like, this is not supposed to be with this. Nah. You know, this nah. is not supposed to be like, what the fuck? Like, it's Windows 96. Yeah. Like, who makes art out of Windows 96? I this shit's crazy, bro. you know? It's wild. Uh, it's pretty wild, you know, to be honest with you. But, you know, in the sense wise, you know, it's beautiful. And just to influence it into hip hop, because yes, we had the SoundCloud era that kind of introduced it. Yeah. But a lot of it is either gone or non existent, but it's somewhat still existent in the underground culture. But do you think it's saturated still, or is it dying? I mean, I feel like it's uh, it's one of them things where it's like we know what it is, we know about it just because we like looked into it type shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I know from doing whatever I was like looking into it, like I, I could tell that it's not as big of a thing as it is today mm -hmm. um, as it was back in like the mid 2010s. Yeah, of course. So it's like now it's like, well, now you're kind of getting, you're damn near 10 years away from, it's like mm -hmm. top tier shit. Yes. And it's like, okay, well, it's not, people talk about it, but is it just because we're in our own little echo chamber of content that we see and look up and do shit on a daily type mm -hmm. shit or is it just like it's a popular thing i don't think it's i don't think it's really a popular thing anymore damn what the fuck was that damn that shit was crazy it was like some kind of spaceship or something like that, that we shit need was. to get the fuck up out of here bro I, all right what's 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 the what's the one thing we can do to sober up what's the what's the most thing we can do to sober up right now so i played this game mm -hmm. right in order to exit the dream right it's ironic, but we have to find the secret mushroom. So, I know. Trust me. Trust me. I know another mushroom, but I, I know something that's gonna sober us up real quick. What? Bills. Fuck. What's that? That's a swear jar. Every time someone swears, you put a quarter in it. Who gets the money? I don't know. We'll use it to buy something for the office, like a. Uh case of Bud Light or something. Fucking awesome. Fuck you, Bob. <laughs> Fuck you, Jim. Eric, I have a bag on line three for you. Can I borrow your pen? Can I borrow your fucking pen? Will the owner of a white station wagon please go fuck yourself? We're gonna go down there and we're gonna fuck some ass. We're gonna fuck some we're gonna do whatever we have to because we're gonna some poop. Doesn't count. Shut the up! I am so proud of you mother suckers. Here, here. Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Paternity tests. Paternity tests. Grade point averages. Grade point averages. Colleges. Death. death. Your mom's death. Your, mom's death. Your, your, your dog's death. Your dog's death. Mm. Rick James dying. Rick James dying. Season finale of the Chappelle Show. I think that I, I I I think we're here, bro. I think we're back. Oh I my god! Back. I didn't even I was just daydreaming about all the horrible shit that was going on. Now we're in the shithole again. God damn it. I, in a shithole. Is it? Yeah, hey, you know, this, 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 this is this is life at the point in time. How, how can how can I go back? <sighs> By watching more Just Grow episodes. We'll see you next time. That's it. VPN Nord Manscape hit us up. <laughs> uh, I think that's a good. I think that was pretty.